again, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today, we will discuss the different concepts that we can get from the Vertex form, which was discussed in my previous video, uh, the Vertex form of quadratic function. So what are the things that we can get from the Vertex form of quadratic function? So for example, here, I have here two Vertex form of quadratic functions. So we can get here the vertex. So the vertex for this quadratic function, you just get the value of h and the value of k. So it, be, it is 1, comma, 3. So this is now your vertex. Aside from the ver vertex, you can also get the opening of the parabola. So the opening of the parabola is upward because your a is positive. So if your a is greater than 0, then it is opens upward. So the opening is upward. Next is you can also get the axis of symmetry. So axis of symmetry is equal to uh, x equals h. So here you have your h as 1, therefore your axis of symmetry is x equals 1 for this quadratic function. And then you can also get the range here from the vertex form. So what is your range? Since it is opens upward, your range is y such that y is greater than or equal to your k which is 3. So this is now your range. Okay, so we, we got 5 different concepts from the vertex form of this kind. So another example is y equals negative quantity x plus 2 over 3 squared minus 1 half. So again, we will get the vertex. So the vertex is h comma k. So our h here is negative because of the sign positive. Negative times negative is positive. So your vertex is negative 2 over 3 comma your k is negative 1 half. So it is negative 1 half. So that will be your vertex. And you can also get the opening. Since your a is less than 0 because of this negative, so this is negative 1. So a is less than 0, then the opening is downward. And aside from the opening, we can also get the axis of symmetry. So the axis of symmetry is x equals h, but our h is negative 2 over 3, so our axis of symmetry is x equals negative 2 over 3. And then, for our range, since it is opens downward, so our symbol is less than or equal to. We have y such that y is less than or equal to your k, which is negative 1. Okay, so these are the, the things that we can get from the vertex form. Okay, so we can get four different concepts from the vertex form. So vertex form is very important. So you should know how to transform quadratic function into, into its vertex form. Okay, so since you learned a lot, comment below your learnings about this video and then I will check all the comments that you put down below the comment and then don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you.